What up? I'm sucking now. Go ahead with your bad self. here real quick to give y'all a short word for november and to let y'all know i'm going on a resting hiatus you may not see me live this week any anymore or next week or the following week if i do come on um it'll it may be late at night on a friday or saturday to pray for people and um y'all see my tv but i can't promise (laughs) but i'm i'm taking a resting hiatus next week and the following week um if i have to come on live because of an urgent word from the lord then i will do that right now this I'm, i might make another video because i do have some stuff that i should have told y'all a long time ago but i just haven't had a chance but um i'm gonna get y'all the word for uh Octo- i mean october um november all right now john 3 verses 8 to 10 or john 3 8 the wind blows where it wishes and you hear the sound of it but cannot tell where it comes from and where it goes so is everyone who was born of the spirit Woo! powerful scripture there the lord said to those who are in need of a newer outcome a different outcome the lord says that we got to make adjustments to the method of things the method of operation like in these days that we're in it is very imperative that we look through we look through the light of truth we look through yeshua jesus for truth and for the reality you know doesn't matter how compelling and deception things are becoming okay the lord said just we need to be honest with ourselves and don't blame others for our shortcomings all right because a lot of people are blaming others for their shortcoming you shouldn't do that check yourself out fix this fix yourself don't wreck yourself fix yourself and the lord said don't believe the compelling deception we're seeing war here war there we knew this was coming i gave y'all all of this information um last year right the prophecy for maine came to pass i told y'all last year that, um no this year that maine was going to have some type of devastation destruction and all those people got killed and our heart goes out to their families and we pray the ones who were injured you know he'll recover and we pray that they catch that military guy he's a military reservist before he does any other harm to anybody else so many prophecies god has given me has come to pass this year <clears throat> and especially in the last couple of weeks countless ones because people keep sending me videos like all over the place right that stuff come to pass okay so the lord said we're also in a transition like your transition a lot of us are in transition and it's about to close your transition into your new cycle is 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 about to close you're about to be fully in your new cycle so the lord said we're going to be be able to begin to truly enjoy our new cycle and settle into our new cycle and 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 this new cycle is going to be over the next year from this day october 27th into into um into um next year so a whole year new cycle right the lord said our new cycle might resemble what we have already been but there will be things from our past in our new cycle that's going to fade away so the transition is closing but we still a little things from the past are going to carry to the new cycle but they're going to fade away like instantaneously and we're going to sense a renewal we're going to see evidence of a renewal in our lives those who are truly of the lord even those who are on the fence even those who are cold lukewarm even y'all gonna get hot for god because stuff that's coming down the pipe and stuff that is down the pipe is chasing people straight to god right now for some people it will look like a never-ending upheaval like a storm passing through your life and for others it will be like a gentle breeze so keep your focus on god and keep your spiritual enlightenment and focus on god he gave me second corinthians um uh you can read you can read all of it or you can read from um five uh 
2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses um, 15 to 17. And I'll read one. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. So, um, in my opinion, what what I feel in my spirit is those who will be going through um, upheaval and it'll feel like you pass through a storm, those of you who were lukewarm, not half for God, right? You weren't doing right for God. You were half stepping with God. Y'all got to go through some stuff in this next year to get y'all where you need to be. And I believe all of those who are going to be going through gentle breezes are the ones who for this past year here and last year and the year before, the last three, four years have been going through up people's like left and right, have been going through storms like left and right. It's like, it's like you look to the east, the south, the west, and the north, and it's hitting you. You know, it's like when you come out of one battle, here another one is. You might get a day or two or three breather. Like, but every month that has gone by for the past three, going on four years, it's been nothing but attack, 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 attack. You know, and, and stuff just be hitting you. Stuff just be coming out. It could be in your dreams. It could be your family, your husband. You could have been going through a divorce, about to go through a divorce. People have miscarriages. People have lost their homes, you know, all kinds of stuff. Y'all, we all been going through for the past three to four years. I believe in my spirit. And usually when I feel it in my spirit is God, that those are, those of us who've been going through it are the ones that's going to be getting a gentle breeze. And the ones who, who haven't been right with God over the past couple of years, those are the ones that's going to be passing through upheavals and storm. But God is going to be with you and you're going to come out of all of them and you're going to come out stronger and victorious. And then you will be going through that gentle breeze. All right. Um, and here's the last part. Opportunities and doors are going to be opening for many of us. Unique doors and unique opportunities. Um, it some will seem suddenly, some will seem subtle, some will be like bam, right? Like wow, <laughs> you know. But the Lord said we must take extra care and precautions and think over the possibilities and evaluate them and always take them to him for confirmation if you should proceed in it, if you should walk through that door, if you should take that opportunity. The Lord is going to give us revelation and wisdom and dreams to show us his confirmation if he wants us to go or not, right? So, you know, ask him for wisdom to know how to respond to these rare moments that are coming, you know? And the Lord said, keep your heart and mind in consideration and your and your reactions to situations right and that come your way the lord said galatians 6 verses 8 to 10 i'll read you one therefore as we have opportunity let us do good to all especially to those who are of the household of faith so there's a lot of open doors and opportunities that are going to be coming unique ones also um, rare opportunities and doors that you should have got three years ago, two years ago, one year ago. They overlooked you for some reason. You might you might have YouTube channel, Facebook, whatever. And you might have said something that turned people off. They was ready to be, you know, give you that door. But you might have said something that was true and they didn't understand it, but it turned them off from you. But God is bringing these people back. Open doors that you should have had. Many of us have been delayed by the enemy on purpose. God allowed it because we need to get somewhere. We need to do some stuff. So a lot of stuff that was delayed from us these past three years, taken from us or even stolen from us, is going to be restored and renewed to us. And it's going to be even better than it would have been if we would have got it the first time. But take heart. You know, um, consider God. Don't go through no doors or take no opportunities until you consider him and pray to him and give him the opportunity to show you in a dream or a vision, you know, or he'll send a prophet or whoever to give you that confirmation. You know what I mean? So you also got to examine your heart and make sure you have no ill will or unforgiveness toward anybody because it will stop your blessings. Right. So you need to ask God to take stock in your heart, and remove any unforgiveness and ill will against anybody or anger, you know, because only God knows the heart. Ask him to bring it to the forefront and bring it out and repent. Be like, Father, if I'm angry at anybody, I got any ill will, unforgiveness. I don't know about it. Please forgive me. And if I need to see it, show me so I can forgive that person, whether I could tell them I forgive them or if I can't tell them I want to forgive them, you know, because this would negate our blessings that God has for us, right? 
So this is the good time. This is an opportunity time to get your heart and mind aligned with the word and with God's will, says Yahweh, testify Elohim, Yahuwah. Um, the Lord says, have a generous attitude. There's no need to be um, starky or tight-fisted. Mark eleven twenty five. 25. And whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him that your father in heaven may also forgive you. The Lord said many um, people have got tight fist um, when it comes to giving because money, you know, is tight. But the Lord said when you have a tight fist, it's going to keep your money tight. When you have a loose fist, it's going to lose monumental blessings in your life. So the Lord says some of y'all need to step up in your tithing. Some of you need to step up in your tithing. And you need to pray and ask him how, how much you should step up in your tithing. Um, you know, at the end of the year, the Lord always tell me to have for us to sow a harvest seed for the new year. So he's letting me tell y'all this early. So, you know, y'all have opportune time to sow to the ministry, the, um, the 24, 2024 harvest seed. So you have now to, to like the, to like even December 31st, as long as you do it before December 31st hits us and pray and ask God what you should show into prophetic voice of Yeshua's ministry. Okay, guys, I got some of your pictures, right? But the WordPress that I have is very hard. So I have to hire the guy again so he can put the pictures up. So y'all need to send me pictures. I got like four or five people. So I'm about to put my um, uh, business email for the radio show up on Facebook, right? Um, so y'all need to send me pictures because, um, he's probably going to send me the invoice any day now. And, um, I pay him half of it and he's going to do it and put up all the pictures and stuff for me and, and put up my product pictures for the oil and the hair stuff. Cause I, WordPress is hard. I, I just pray for me. Cause after he do it, I'm going to have to learn how to do all these plugins and all this craziness. I didn't know WordPress was this hard. If I knew that I would have got something else, but now I'm stuck with it. You know, I had to pay $500 to get it. <laughs> and it got 10 pages. So, you know, after he sent me the invoice, I pay him half. And he put the pictures up for me and stuff. Then I'll release the site for y'all to see it. Right? And I'm, I'm going to get him to put up two of my radio shows. Because I don't even know how to do that. I got a blog. I got to figure that out. I got to figure out how to do the donate. It's a lot, y'all. <laughs> so, ho hopefully the site will be... I'll be able to release it to everybody um, mid-November to end of November. All right. So just pray for me. Because once he put the pictures and stuff up, I ain't, I ain't messing with nothing. Because I got to watch these videos. It's like two to three long videos. <laughs> All right. So just keep me in prayer. Okay. Uh, let me see. I got two minutes. Let me see if I can squeeze in stuff from... Um... Hold on. Oh, now I only got one minute. I might have to come back, y'all. Um, if I don't, I'm gonna come back tomorrow, okay, and get y'all the other the other stuff that I should have gave y'all a minute ago, okay? All right, so I'm gonna come back and give you the rest of the words that God been giving me for the past week and a half that I should have gave y'all, but I forgot about. All right, so it'll be tomorrow or Sunday. So look for a video. And again, hiatus rest. Don't see me next week or the following week. If you do, it may be in the evening on a Friday or Saturday or Sunday to pray for people and you'll see my TV because you know I'll be in my pajamas. But I can't promise that to you, right? Um, and Facebook, you won't be seeing me neither next week or the following week. Only way I'll come on live is if God tell me something urgent because he's putting my spirit to rest. Take it easy because I've been doing a lot of stuff, y'all. You know, things that should have took me one week to do a couple of days is taking me months to do. And, you know, I... Pers on a personal level, level, you know, um, I've been going through a lot of bad attacks, you know, so, and I've been victorious in all of them. I went through a big one yesterday and God worked it out tremendously for me. All right. So God bless everybody. See you soon. Shalom. Shalom.